What, What is up, everyone? Welcome, Welcome to Candle Play. Good hearts and God sense. My name is Godsend B A Pinky, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. Here in Canva Play, we make videos to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are interested in that, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification just below this video, and turn on notifications too so you don't miss out on every video we post here. In our channel. With that said, I'm going to head on toward today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is called Cyber Blue Cam Effect. We usually see blue cam effect in videos taken from CCTV cameras. In horror movies, footages taken from CCTV outputs of the paranormal activities that occurred are usually in blue cam effect outputs. I wonder how did it happen? I searched for an answer and I read that it wasn't there when you took the photo, but it's definitely there on your image. That's what happens when your camera's auto white balance setting doesn't get things right. This light causes the objects in your image to look a little warmer, resorting to orange red colors of your camera output or cooler resulting to a blue color output. Hmm, that made sense. I have other questions, but let's leave the answers to experts and let's create the cyber blue cam effect in Canva. Well, here is a sample of the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page. I am going to get my subject photo from Uploads. I uploaded this photo from other photo stock sites by searching Pretty Young Women. I will apply a duotone effect in this image. So using the image, go to Edit Image. Scroll down below and look for duotone. Under Duotone, look for Lavender and apply it to the image. Now that I've turned the photo into a blue cam color, I will now enhance it and make it brighter, visible, and bluer. Using the same image, I will go to Edit Image, go to Adjust, See All, and apply the following settings. Brightness, negative 15. Contrast, 10. Saturation, 20. Blur, negative 5. Warmth, negative 100 clarity 3 highlights 10 and shadows negative 100 after I condition its color I will duplicate it five times to make it six and then I will position them all middle center And I will crop each one of them according to my preferences. You can make it bigger than the other images. I suggest don't make the parts equal. Create a look that looks like a messy background. Try to observe and look how, will, how I will do the cropping of the different photos. My aim is to occupy the whole page with the six photos I created with the different unequal parts, focusing on the different angles of the image. Now, look how I will do it. Thank you. 
after that, I will download it as PNG. and upload it back to Canva. I will create another blank page, delete the first page, and drag the uploaded PNG image inside. I will apply now an effect on this image. Using the image, go to Edit Image. Scroll down below and find Vision Simulator. See all. And find Tritanomaly. And apply it. I need to apply another effect to make the blue cam effect look more realistic. Using the image again, I will go to edit image and look for auto focus. Apply the effect. But change the settings to Blur intensity remain the same at 50. The blur position changes it to 40. And click apply. I want to make the whole face at the center clearer than the photos around it. And you can make it by adjusting the blur position like what I did in this image. After this, I will position the image, make it bigger, and making it occupy the whole page. And lock it. The next step will be a bit tasking, and I need you to watch deeper on how I did it. Photos with a cyber blue cam effect has a grid lines on it. And I will make the grid lines all over the picture or image. I want to show you how I will do it in a detailed way. So I will make a separate page to create the grid lines. Add another page. Color the background same with the color photos color or a blue cam color. Then I will search in the photos the lines that I will be using. Go to photos and search for line background you can find it right away because of its dark background because this is a transparent one this is the photo i am referring to this one the keyword of this is line background finding keywords is hard and time consuming sometimes you need to do a deep search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword if you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva, we have created an ebook called Canva Deep. Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known and deep search to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day to day design. Going back, I will drag it in this blue color blank page. And this is how it looks like. You will notice that it is in a slanting position. And I want to reposition it to create a horizontal lines position. So using this image, I will tilt it 
64 degrees clockwise. And now I will make a template duplicating this photo severally to create straight horizontal lines. Watch carefully how I will do it. I need to cover the whole page with grid lines. After covering the whole page with grid lines, I will group them together to make it a single photo. Select them all and copy them and paste them to overlay the photo above. This is how it looks like. Did you see the grid lines? It's very visible. For my final touch, I will put a camera, cro a camera cross hair on the design to create an illusion that the blue cam is focusing on a certain area of the face of the lady. There is no available ready to use element that fits the look I want. So I will create an element that looks like a camera, camera cross hair. I will create another page with the same color background and I will create one. Add another page. And then, go to Elements, and search for Square. Pick the second element with the keyword Square Border. This is a perfect shape because it has a hollow inside. I will make it smaller and drag or stretch it a little to create a thin border lines like this just make sure that the four sides are equal to make a thin line square shape then i will change the color of it to yellow Now, I need to put a four small lines at the middle of each sides to create a camera lens effect. I will now search in the elements, line, choose the straight line with no ends, this one, change the size to 3. Make it smaller. And change the color to yellow. And then I will create four same lines and position them at the center of each four square sides. Like this. Now that I created the camera crosshair look, I will select them all and group them together. I will now copy this 
and paste it on the design I am creating. I will position this on the right, on her right eye portion like this. And it's done. Look at the final result of the cyber blue cam effect I made using Canva. That's it. For more designs, inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe. Drop your comments below for that tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Pinky Godson BA saying, sharing is caring. In behalf of Simon Goodhart BA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Simon with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys! See you in the next video!